Okay, what's up boys? This is the video that we did last year. No matter what I do, I already know that I'm gonna make people angry. Very, very, very angry because people don't like to hear real opinions about their sports teams. The Steelers suck. They really, really suck. Let's be real. Just about every fan comes into the NFL season thinking that your team has hope to make the playoffs. Unless if you're the Jacksonville Jaguars. See? Now all those fans just went down and disliked the video. You know how it works now? Before we get into this though, what we did last year, I thought it was really cool, was I linked this tier list in the description of the video. You can go ahead and do it as long as you do it before the NFL season starts and tag me on Instagram with your screenshot at Yo Boy Pizza Official. I'm going to look through every single one of them and I'll drop a like to let you know that I took a look at it. And I also might give my expert opinion or maybe not so expert. Another thing that I want to do since we did this last year, I just want to give a quick recap on how things ended up being for us. I see the Colts there at S tier. That's disgusting. What is my excuse? Andrew Luck. We did the video before Andrew Luck retired. Okay. The Jaguars at C, huh? Wow. What was I doing? How about something that's a little bit more positive? The F tier? I think I got spot on. That was a good tier. We did well with that. Let's not look at E where I had the Tennessee Titans. So let's go back to here so we can't look at that anymore. Yeah, um, that would also explain why so many people probably hated that video. Let's jump into things now. We're going to be starting it off with a really hot team. I mean, most people are probably going to have them at S tier. I'm saving that for my Super Bowl winner. The team I think is going to do the best. There's only going to be one team at that tier. I'm putting Baltimore at A. Uh, Lamar Jackson, he has proven to be a beast, but there are still some questions that I have. I want to see him go through a full season and prove that his pass accuracy is there because there's no way that you can prove to me that he's a top five passer in the league. Now, of course, he can do things that nobody could replicate, which puts him at the top. There's no question about it. The Ravens have a sick defense. I know they lost Earl Thomas. That's really not going to matter too much, I don't think. They also have the easiest schedule in the NFL. I would like to point that out. Right now, though, Ravens, solid A tier. If you have them in S, I'm not going to disagree with you too much. Let's go ahead and move on to another team in that division, the Cincinnati Bengals. I mean, come on, let's be real. They're an F tier team. And you cannot prove to me that they are not an F tier team until they can just win a playoff game. <laughs> but let's be real. It's going to be a tough season for them. You got to verse the Ravens twice. You got to verse the Steelers defense twice. You have to verse the Browns defense twice. Can I say that? Maybe. They might be pretty decent. Up next, really solid team. Is this my Super Bowl team? Absolutely not. I have to put them at A though. One of the best all around rosters in the NFL possibly the best defense kind of comparatively with the other team that I'm going to bring up a little bit later a tier is pretty fair I think playoffs without a doubt for them Dallas Cowboys will be up next they have so many superstars on their team they're a B tier team I think their offensive line is on the down low. Everybody remembers the offensive line of Dallas Cowboys from a few years ago. It was the best in the league. There was no questioning it. They have so many offensive weapons, though. Zeke aside, they have CeeDee Lamb, who I thought was the best receiver coming out of the draft class. Michael Gallup, man, I, he, so underrated. And of course, Amari Cooper. How are you going to be able to cover all these guys? The Green Bay Packers will be up next. If you looked at my other tier list, you would see that I had them in A tier. There's no way that I'm doing that again. They were the most deceiving team with a good record. It was unbelievable. Aaron Rodgers has a chip on his shoulder this year, though. I can't believe, like, I still cannot believe that they drafted a quarterback, traded up to get one, as a matter of fact, and apparently he's not even doing that good in camp, which is hilarious. All in all, though, they have a good roster. It's a playoff team. I think they'll be all right. This next one's going to be fun. Can I trust a team that gave away their best player for literally nothing for a washed up running back? Oh, man. Let me see here. This one's tough. I'm in between C and D. I'll put them in C tier. They have Deshaun Watson. I think he's a little bit overrated from where people have him ranked as a quarterback. I don't think he's a top five guy. I think he's right outside the top five. Again, similar to Lamar Jackson. I feel like he has accuracy problems and nobody really points out. I got the Texans down for, I don't know, eight wins. After that, this is the one that I am the most proud of last year. I know that on the tier list, I had them pretty low, but I made a bold prediction. It's live somewhere. It's somewhere on the internet where I said Buffalo is going to make the playoffs last year. And this is whenever they were awful the year before. And if you're a Buffalo fan, you know what I'm talking about. This team is sick. This is top five defense without a doubt. I am a believer of Josh Allen. And they added, I don't know, that new wide receiver from the Minnesota Vikings. What's his name again? I actually forget. 
Oh, yeah, Stephon Diggs. After that, we have the Minnesota Vikings. Them and the Packers, same division, similar team. I'm going to put them in B tier. I love Dalvin Cook. He is probably the second or third best running back in the league, in my opinion. I do like them a bit more than the Packers. I think they'll finish ahead of them. But I don't know. Once they get to the playoffs, I could see them kind of falling off a little bit. I think they're more of a regular season team. We'll move along. Indianapolis Colts. Let's forget that I had them here in S tier last year. This is a team I actually like. Over the years, they've been building through the draft as opposed through free agency. They had a pick in the NFL draft just a few months ago. I'm a massive fan of Michael Pittman. Look out for him as a number two receiver behind T.Y. Hilton. And of course, everybody's a huge fan of Jonathan Taylor. They might have two stars in the making there. And I think that they are the best team in their division for sure. After that, we have Cleveland. This is a fun one last year. I seen a lot of teams with them in A tier. I said, yo, you're out of your mind. You're crazy. It's not happening. I put them in C tier. Here's the thing. I think they're going to be a lot better this year. They had a year to kind of get things together, new head coach. And as much as I want to put them in B tier, I can't do it until they can prove to me otherwise that they belong there. That's impossible. The Arizona Cardinals will be up next. This is a fun one. I'm going to put them in D tier though. This is a tier list for this year and how I think they're going to finish this year, 2020. Not a year or two from now. We're talking right now this season. Then we have the Carolina Panthers. I'm dropping them in E tier. Christian McCaffrey's your entire team. Imagine if he got injured devastating. Plus the Buccaneers got better. The Panthers are at best the third best team in their division. I'm sticking them in E tier. I got them down for five wins. After that, the Oakland Raiders. This is going to be a tough one for me to tier. We're going to put them with the Arizona Cardinals in D tier. They have a super young team. Here's the thing though. I'm not a believer in Derek Carr and their wide receiver core really just isn't there. I think their offense is going to struggle aside from Josh Jacobs. I think this is a pretty fair spot for Oakland. Let's move on to the Denver Broncos. So many people love Denver this year. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people had them in B tier with what their offense is looking like. I have them as a C tier team though. And here's why. I think their defense is middle of the pack at best. I mean, Vaughn Miller is getting old. I, I don't know. I don't see it there with their defense anymore. It's not like whenever they made the run with Peyton Manning. It's just not. I would like to point out that John Elway thinks that Drew Locke is the next great quarterback, but I mean, didn't he think that with Brock Osweiler too? Did he? I don't know. I, I really don't know. For this season though, borderline playoffs. I think they just missed the playoffs. What's up next? Atlanta Falcons. Where do I have them? Not too good. They're below low Carolina. They're the worst team in their division, actually. People are going to hate me for saying this. The Falcons are winning five games this year. Bruh. I was so big on them last year with the schedule that they had, all the games that they had to play in the Dome, which Matt Ryan is supposedly so good at, and they burned me, man. I don't know. This is just me. I think this is going to be a really rough season for the Falcons. Speaking of having really good picks in the next year's upcoming draft are the New York Giants. Last year, we had them in F tier, but I am actually surprisingly impressed with Daniel Jones. That is why I have them here in E tier. They have an underrated wide receiver core where nobody really pops out to you, but they got three really solid guys. Chicago will be up next. Their defense seemed like it fell off last year. I still think they're pretty good though. I have them as a C tier team. The main struggle I'm going through as I'm recording this, I don't even know who their starting quarterback is. I'm going to assume it's Mitch Trubisky to start the year. Okay, pause. I don't know what I was thinking whenever I put them in C tier. If you want my honest opinion, this is an E tier team. They're going to win four or five games this year. Take it for what you will. Obviously you see C, but that's not really what I think. Up next, Miami Dolphins. They just have been too good at all. They did make a lot of moves though, and I do want to put them in F tier, but I just, I don't know. Their division has been the worst division in football for the past 10 years, and considering I don't think the Patriots are going to be what they once were, it's going to be a little bit easier. It's going to lighten the load for the Dolphins. E tier for them. Next team will be the Detroit Lions. You know what? I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to put them in D. Everybody in Detroit's like, wait. You gave them the benefit of the doubt and you put them in D? Yes. I rank them up to D tier though because of their offense. They have a lot of really good weapons that I like. Kenny Galladay has been my favorite wide receiver in the NFL ever since he came in his rookie season. Mark my words, he'll be a top five guy this year. Really looking forward to watching him. But let's go ahead and move along here to the Philadelphia Eagles. This team amazes me with how hard it is for them to stay healthy. And it's like they're not even a bad team. That's why it's tough for me. But it, it, it like... 
I'll put him in C tier. I think that's fair. I think Carson Wentz is a pretty good quarterback, but man, he has not gotten any help. I'm going to throw it out there though. This is going to be a team that's like this close to making the playoffs at the end of the year. I think they just miss. Let's move on to Jacksonville. This is the easiest team for me to rank. This is the worst team in the NFL. That's it. I'm out of here. This is one of the safest picks without question. I mean, there's really no explaining that needs to go down for them. And how about we go from the exact opposite of the Jacksonville Jaguars, my team to win the Super Bowl this year. How can they not make a deep run in the playoffs? The only answer to that question is if Patrick Mahomes gets hurt. And even then, I think that their team is good enough that they will still be able to compete in the playoffs. This is a lock for me. I have never felt more comfortable actually on a team winning the Super Bowl than I am this year with the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chargers are going to be up next. This is another team, just like the Eagles. They can't stay healthy. I'm going to put them in D tier. I hate to do it. I thought their defense was going to be insane this year, but Derwin James went down. I'm not too impressed with their quarterback. And I don't know. I don't know. Aside from Keenan Allen, who is older and maybe Austin Eckler. I just don't believe in the weapons that they have. The Rams are going to be up next. This is the team, the slump after losing the Super Bowl. I still think they have a really good roster though, but they're competing with the Seahawks. They're competing with the 49ers and the Cardinals. I think they're definitely a bit better than the Cardinals for sure. Man, I don't know. I really don't. I see a turnaround here for the Rams. I think Sean McVay will be able to get it done. They're a wild card team. Up next will be the New England Patriots. I can't rank them any better than the Buffalo Bills. I'm in between B and C tier. And you know what? I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt until they prove to me that they can't win, which what it hasn't happened in like 20 years i'm not putting them below b tier I just can't do it i am gonna say though i want to point this out again buffalo should finish ahead of new england up next will be the saints i crapped on the saints last year this is one that i was wrong with probably the worst i will be throwing them into b tier though and here's why again drew Brees, he's not getting any younger uh this is this is going to be the most controversial thing i say in this video i am not as much of a believer in alvin kamara as everybody else oh uh, this pains me to do this because the saints are one of my favorite teams yeah i'm gonna say it. he's not a top 10 running back that's a clip we'll be looking back on. Jets will be next. They are an F tier team. No, no, you know what? No, they're an E tier team. They've upgraded the offensive line a bit, but they lost Jamal Adams. Come on, man. That was their best player and it wasn't even close. Actually, you know what? I am moving them down to F tier. I forgot about that. They'll have a top five pick in the next year's NFL draft. Up next, this was another one I was wrong on. The Pittsburgh Steelers. I had them in A tier last year. They didn't even make the playoffs. That's embarrassing. I'm a Steelers fan though. Here is where I'm at. Super young offense that I'm very excited about. Claypool, Deontay Johnson, Juju, please, Juju, come on. You can do good this year. I got faith in you. Big Ben's coming back. We're going to have him this year. If we had him last year, we make the playoffs. I'm not going to eat my words like I did last time though, because they have disappointed me by not making the playoffs two years in a row. They'll make the playoffs this year, probably just behind Baltimore. Look out for the Steelers though. Defense wins championships. I'm not saying they're going to win a championship. And again, I'm not saying that they're not going to win a championship. Seattle is going to be up next. I love Russell Wilson so much. He's the second best quarterback in the NFL. It's him, Patrick Mahomes, and then there's a definite drop off. I question two things though. Number one, can Chris Carson stay healthy? And number two, their defense, specifically their secondary, which I don't like too much. I'm going to put them in B tier. I would not be surprised though if they overtook San Francisco and won that division. I know it looks weird with me putting them in B and man, do I have a lot of B-tier teams. This is kind of weird. Let's finish this off, though, with three more teams. Buccaneers, B-tier team. They have so many weapons. This is the team that everybody's going to be focusing on. Tom Brady, I mean, Leonard Fournette, they just picked up. Best wide receiver core in the NFL. These pretty good defense. They, they definitely do have a really good defense. Should I put them in A-tier? No, not yet. I need to see them play. We might make a couple adjustments at the way end, but I have Tennessee. I mean, they made it to the AFC Championship game last year. How can I not have have them above C tier. Last but not least, Washington Redskins. I mean, Washington football team. Whatever. My bad. I got thrown off because the logo's still here. They're an F tier team. I don't care what anybody has to say. People are saying that their defense is going to be really sick this year. It's not happening. You guys are going to kill me for this. I know you are. I'm going to move the Saints up, even though I crapped on Kamara. I'm moving the Steelers up to A tier. This is my tier list for this year, full of 100% hot takes. It's going to be fun to look back on it, though, whenever the season does end. As long as the season plays all the way through, crossing my fingers. Don't forget the link to this tier list will be in the description. Go ahead and do it. Screenshot it. Tag me on Instagram. Again, at YoBoyPizzaOfficial. I'm going to look through every single tier list 
as long as you get it to me before the NFL season starts. We'll say before the Sunday game, so you have until Saturday. I'm gonna wrap things up right here, though. Again, give me feedback. Why am I wrong? Why am I right? What do you like? What do you hate? I'm gonna be going deep down in the comments in this video, so please don't be shy. Leave your feedback. If you wanna hate on me, hate on me. Do all you want. With that said, I'm your boy Pizza. Thank you so much for watching. You already know you're the best. God bless. Don't forget to keep them first, and I will see you later on the next video and can't wait to look back on this one 365 days from now <laughs> peace yeah totally got all those 100 right no way i didn't